Wings into the stretch. Here's race three. OSS three-year-old Philly Pace Gold Series. Set for a start. They're off and pacing. Activated early is better with glasses charging out of there. Lightning Lizzie on the gas pedal too. So better with glasses and Lightning Lizzie. Exchange glances going into that first turn. Pass line is moving up quickly. Third outside. Taking a hold up fourth inside. Their tracks odds on platinum. Fifth in at the rail, a hard held we meet again. Sixth outside, Sorsha Sealster trying to get a spot just ahead of It's a Love Thing. Further back we go to Coco Jojo, trailing Blazing Bell. The opening quarter, speaking of blazing, it was blazing hot. 25-3, and three, pass line in an opening quarter smoke show. Takes them up towards the midway point now. Better with glasses, second Lightning Lizzie, third odds on platinum, fourth we meet again is fifth. A length and a half to Sorsha Sealster, then It's a Love Thing. Tracked by Coco Jojo and trailer blazing bell single file throughout that second quarter halftime and electrifying 53 and three and they move into the final turn pass line leads the charge just over a length in front now two lengths better with glasses second third outside drives odds on platinum lightning lizzie at the rail fourth picking up the cover comes sorcia seals your fifth now sixth inside to we meet again overland it's a love thing into seventh but in behind a torrid pace pass line leads the field two three quarters and she got them over there in 121 and four coming into the stretch pass line gets gobbled up by odds on platinum here from the backfield comes it's a love thing it's a love thing steamrolling late for mcdonald who just fed her racetrack and she'll do the rest it's a love thing heavily favored it's a love thing takes off in deep stretch it's it's a love thing to win the gold division tonight second was odds on platinum coming through late third lightning lizzie and the time, 1.49. She's tied the Ontario Sire Stakes record. We told you this horse should be a storybook, and she has performed extremely well yet again here tonight with a new stakes record here in 149 flat. There were some lightning flat fast er opening fractions here, Randy, 25 and 3, 53 and 3 for the half. We knew it was going to say. Odds on platinum here from the backfield comes It's a Love Thing. It's a Love Thing. Steamrolling late for McDonald, who just fed her racetrack, and she'll do the rest. It's a Love Thing. Heavily favored It's a Love Thing takes off and deep stretch it's it's a love thing to win the gold division tonight second was odds on platinum coming through late third lightning lizzie and the time 149 she's tied the ontario sires five two three seven top four finishers on the board for tonight's third and coming back to victory lane here is the winner of tonight's third it's the five it's a love thing three-year-old betters delight philly out of the captain treacherous mare love for sale Fred by Marvin and Lynn Katz, along with Al Libfeld, owners Eric Good, Thomas Biederman, Josh Green, and Rich Lombardo Racing. Dave Minnery trains in the bike for the winning drive, James McDonald. It's a love thing with her second win from three this year, career victory number eight. And she matches the all-time Ontario Sarge Drake's record. And once again, down in the winner's circle, following another OSS Gold Division. This time, the three-year-old pacing Phillies. Only division tonight, and we match the OSS record. 149 flat, courtesy of It's a Love Thing. I've got James McDonald and Dave Maneri with me. James, I'll start first with you. Just take us through from your vantage point. Hot, hot fractions. You had to be licking your chops going to three quarters. Yeah, I was, I was just like you said, licking my chops the whole way. They were smoking and... and Anyone that watched her race last year, that, like that's she can really cruise home off a trip. Like she comes off a helmet like a jet. So uh, uh, I was I was planning on racing her up close, but the way the race just shook out, it just played out perfect. And uh, just just a lucky guy to be sitting behind her. Well, what's that feel like though, coming down the lane? Like were you really getting into her? I mean, 49 flats, a big mile here in May, matches the OSS record. No, no, I like that's that's the best thing about her. She just wants it so bad. I didn't never I don't even I hit the wheel disc once or twice, but I never touched her with the whip, never pulled the plugs. Like she's got some serious speed. So uh I was hopefully we can keep her this good for uh, all year and it'll be a big year. Yeah, some big events coming up. Congratulations. Thank you very much. All right, winning trainer Dave Maneri to my right. And Dave, you've got a great one two punch in that race, uh kinda ending at both spectrums here when they got to the finish line. But take us through how you were watching that race. A few long shots left out, pass line goes, some big fractions, but uh like James was saying, you must have felt really good where it's a love thing was spotted. 
Yeah, I was just worried, uh, you know, she was kind of caught in that spot before, but she finished second, you know, Bob come with a real slow creep. And, uh, you know, I, I didn't really like the fractions up front. You know, uh, sooner or later they had to come back, uh, come back to the field. Um, you know, it could have went the other way. If the fractions were slow, it was a bad spot. The fractions were fast, it ended up being a good spot. Talking about these two Phillies and looking ahead, I would imagine the fan handover is next for them. We've seen them already race really well against Grand Circuit foes at age two, and you have to love, uh, it's a love thing. I mean, that mile here tonight, that could win the fan handover. Well, I will take it one step at a time, but uh, pretty optimistic heading into it. Everything is kind of lining up and heading the right direction. And, uh, you know, I took her in uh, the SBOA really short. Um, you know, didn't school her qualifier very much. And, you know, it's a, it's a long year, so, uh, you know, we're kind of, trying to aim for the whole year, take one day at a time, but you know, aim for the whole year too. Well, you're definitely right. It is a long year, just the first OSS goal, but off to a great start for It's a Love Thing. Congratulations. Thanks a lot, Mark. And give a lot of credit to the whole team. It helps me working really hard and uh, I appreciate everything. All right, Dave Maneri, It's a Love Thing, 149. She matches the OSS record here tonight.